fish, yo. Motherfucking gay fish, gay fish. I'm a fish, yo. Fucking on a gay fish, It's alright, girl. Making love to other gay fish. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. We're in Goldenrod City. And, yeah, you're probably wondering why. Um, it's been a pretty long time. Not really that long. But, yeah, we're going to Route 35 for actually a very important thing. Um, that's because today we're catching the next member of my team, our fifth member. Um, the sixth member we're actually not going to get for a while. So, I guess this is going to be our last one for a while. So, hopefully, this is him. And here it is, everyone. Here, Psyduck, the next member of my team. Now, I know they're not really that rare to find, and I was uh, just trying to get one that was over level 20 at least, because, um, yeah, in this route, you can actually catch them from level 15 to 25. Yes, guys, I know you can catch Golducks in this route, but I want to get a Psyduck just because, um, you know, getting it when it's in the first form, like the basic form, um, it's actually more training, kind of. And I'm using a Netball just because I want to catch all of my team members in different kinds of Pokeballs. If you've noticed already, I've used um, Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Luxury Ball, and a couple of other things, but yeah, Psyduck, the next member of my team. Um, as for the nickname, you're about to see it, actually. So, yeah, whatever, Chronic Headaches, I really don't care. Let's give it a nickname right now. And it's going to start off with an S, then a lowercase, E, A, M, A, N, C-Man. Not C-Man, guys. Why would you even think that? That's You guys are sick. You sickened me. And, great, didn't run into any Pokemon, so shake, shake, shake the little Apricorn. And if you guys don't know, we're actually going to be doing a lot of surfing side quests. Now that we've got Surf and Fly, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of the side quests that you guys can do, so you can check those out. Um, there's a hidden item right here, too, now that we have Surf. So right here, we've got a Nugget. Now I'm actually going to skip ahead. It's going to be a little choppy, but I really don't care. Let's go. And we're back. Now we're in Route 34. Down here, we can have a little surfing action. Um, as you can see, Seaman, I mean, uh, Seaman, Seaman, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Now has the surfing power, so I'm going to spare repel. And we're going to be surfing down here. There's a hidden item, I believe, so let me pull out my little dowsing machine item finder thing. I don't know why they keep renaming it and stuff, but, you know, they can do what they want. Um, there's a nugget, and I know there's a hidden item around here, so it is right here. Yes, it's a rare candy, so grab both of those. And we're not done just yet, because there's one more thing that we can get, so... Seaman, take us to the ocean, and um, we'll be surfing a bit more to the south. As there's a little optional kind of side quest. It's a small side quest, but you can do it if you want it. Um, here it is. Three trainers that you can fight, and I'm going to do it mostly for training, but you can also do it for um, for an item that we're going to get later on. So let's start off with these two trainers. And they're going to have a star you and a Golding to start off with. Hopefully I'll beat them. Now after that Golding, she had a Sea King, and now her final Pokemon is a Starmie. And that's it for them. Um, yeah, I couldn't show off the Sea King just because I killed it off, but... Yeah, just note she had a Sea King as well, um, as the Starmie there. Anyway, yeah, those are the two of the twins, and here we go with the third one. I must pay you back for taking care of my sisters. Great. And her first Pokemon is a Shelter, and then she has a Cloyderous, I mean Cloyster. And I actually had to resort to Red Rock to take care of that because, um, Heifer's strength wasn't good enough because Cloyderuses have incredible defense. Anyway, she's gonna give you the Power Herb, which is an item that I really don't like too much, but yeah. There's no hidden items or anything right here, so that's about it. Let's head to our next side quest. And here we are in Cherry Grove City. There's not really a side quest to do here, but just rather an item that you can get now that you have Surf. Um, once you get Rock Climb, which is way later on in the game, after you get all eight or all 16 badges, um, you can use Rock Climb to get another item. But for now, we can go over here to this guy, and he's going to give us the Mystic Water, which I'm probably going to give to Psyduck eventually. So get that, and... I believe there's no hidden items or anything. Let me just make sure. No, there's not. So let's go to our next destination. And here we are in Violet City. There's a couple of things we can get now that we have Surf here. And I'm sorry I'm not showing off like the Pokemon that you can catch from these waters from surfing and fishing. Um, I'm just kind of being lazy at the moment. But hey, you guys can check it out. I'll probably give you a link to all of these places or something. Uh, I'll probably won't. But oh, a yellow shard in the rubble. That's very nice. Um, I don't know why I'm smashing this rock in the first place. I think I already got the item here. So, yeah, that was completely pointless, but anyway, moving on to what we were, or what I came here to do, not inspect that sign for the Pokemon School, but actually go over to the water right here. By the way, that little kid sprite right there looks kind of weird. I don't know, it's just like 3D kind of thing. I just sprayed another repel right there, and we're going to move on to get this item right here. It is a rare candy, and I know there's a PP up somewhere around here. I don't know if it's hidden or something, but... I just know that there's a PP up, so maybe I'll find it, maybe I won't. Let's just look for it, I guess. 
And I believe it's actually over here on this corner of the map. So here's your PP up. And now that we're done with everything here at Violet City, let's move on. And here we are in Azalea Town because now that we have Surf and Fly, because I really didn't want to go through Islet's Forest, we can go to the Slowpoke Well to explore the rest of that. Um, I can also do the Ruins of Valve, which were basically like right next to Violet City, but I'm not going to do that just yet as it takes like pretty long. And, you know, if I do have enough time later on, I will. Let's go ahead and take a picture with Cameron the Photographer just because we can. And um, I know I still have Raditz in my team, but he's probably not even going to be in sight. No, he's not. He's covered by Psyduck, or pro kind of. And for some reason, Red Rocket wanted to be behind that rock, but whatever. Let's go on to the Slowpoke Well. Now that we've got Surf, we can go over here and get some more stuff like the King's Rock. Yeah, I believe that's pretty much the only important thing here. Um, great, there's nothing here. That's just awesome. But anyway, let's keep on going through here. We came... Yeah, you, know, you might remember the Slowpoke Well from uh, such adventures like... Oh, Team Rocket wants to cut Slowpoke Tails, and... Yeah, I, that, that, I totally stole that line, but I really don't care. Anyway, going ahead and moving this boulder right here so that we can progress through here. I don't have any raw repels, unfortunately, so... You know, if I run into any wild Pokemon, then I guess I'll cut it. Um, I'm just using my Dowsy Machine, just to see if I can find any useful hidden items or anything. And uh, I can see there's actually a ladder here, so there's probably going to be more exploring than I expected. Um, I thought this would be a little short trip here, but apparently it's going to be pretty... A lot more, uh, you know, in-depth than what I thought it would be. But let's go up here. And there's a hidden item somewhere right in front of me, actually. It's a full heal, so let's get that and head downstairs. Now, I ran into a level 25 Slowpoke. I didn't think Slowpokes were able to reach that high level. Well, this is with Surf, so I guess they can. Um, but yeah, I should definitely buy some more repels when I'm done with all of this. Um... Let's go ahead and use our dowsing machine again. I don't think there's any any items in the water, but I know there's some items like this right here. And this is going to be a TM for Rain Dance. I actually never went to the Slowpoke well in my real Heart Gold game, but I guess I'll have to explore it eventually. Why must I run into so many wild Pokemon? Anyway, let's go back into the water. Yeah, I don't think there's any hidden items in the water, but there are on land and everywhere else, so... Running away from some more Slowpokes and... Oh, there's a guy right there. And it's a dead end, great. So let's head back, I guess, and probably gonna run into some wild Pokemon, but let's just... I actually just ran into a level 30 Slowbro. I didn't think there were any Slowbros in here, so that was pretty cool to see, I guess. And finally, we reached this guy right here. I don't know what he has to say or anything, so let's see. A Slowpoke with a King's Rock often gets bitten by Shelter. Here, take a King's Rock with you. Corio, man. Um, I wish they would, like, incorporate that. I know it's in the anime, but if they would be able to put that in the game, kind of like, you know, making Shelter somehow relate with Slowpoke so that they can evolve, that would be a pretty cool idea, like, for Fish Gen. But, you know, they can't really change evolution halfway through a game, or, like, once it's been set down. Anyway, we're all done with the Slowpoke well, so I guess I'm gonna go climb up that ladder and use the effect of that to fade into our next adventure. As soon as I run away from another Slowpoke. So let's go. Anyway, guys, here you can see we're actually going into the Union Cave up next. I went and stocked up on a lot of items, and I also healed up my Pokemon, so there's actually a few things that we can do here in the Union Cave that we couldn't do before because now we have Surf. Now heading back over to the main place in the Union Cave, the top floor, I guess you would call it. Um, it's actually down here is what I was referring to. Um, I'm actually going to do the Ruin the Valve some other time because there's a lot of stuff that we can do there, so... You know, eventually... Ah, wrong place once again, but yeah. Eventually, we'll come back to the Ruins of Alphen, and we'll figure out everything that you can do there. Um, you can catch a couple, or the unknowns there. There's also some uh, special items that you can get from doing those side quests, so... I believe I'm going to the right place now. Please be right. I really don't remember. Hopefully, this is it. But, um, yeah, I know I have Surf for a while. Like I said, I'm doing this because I have Fly now, mostly. And, yes, this is the right place. So, let's head down here. There's a lot of trainers that you can fight, like this guy right here. Who's there? Leave me alone. This guy's gonna start off with a Marowak. And then another Marowak. And we're done with that guy. Raw, you're a dinosaur. You're so cool. Um, I don't think there's a hidden item here, so let's move on to the Surfing. Um, skipping ahead a little bit, I really... I don't- I hope you don't mind that, that little skip right there. Let's go ahead and fight this guy now. And he's gonna have a Kongaskhan as his only Pokemon. And there we go, Seaman was not good enough to defeat his Kongaskhan. I mean, Seaman. Yeah, I keep forgetting Seaman, it's not Seaman. Ah, uh, I kid, people, I'm doing it on purpose, obviously, but... Anyway, let's head down here. There's a hidden item somewhere around here, but I'll eventually get it. Um, let's go ahead and surf with our dead Seaman, because, you know, he's, he's not even good enough to survive. 
Um, so down here, repel is off. Let's use our dowsing machine. There's a hidden item up there, actually, where that girl is, so I'm not going to worry about it for now. Let's see if there's anything over here. There's actually an item, and it is an elixir. Now, the reason I said you wanted to come here on Friday is you're actually going to see eventually, um... So for now, let's just grab all the items here. I mean, these, these stuff are completely optional, so, you know, if you don't want to do this, don't do it. It's all completely optional. Um, like I said, they're called side quests, so, you know, you don't have to do them. You, they're just there to fill up the game and stuff and make it better because it's good like that. But um, let's go ahead and surf again with our dead seaman. And there's a trainer over here, so let's fight him and grab that cool item up there. Oh no, it's an ace trainer. I wonder what he could have. He's going to be so strong. Oh, are, are you saying uh, I don't have a style, huh? He's gonna have a Charmander. Then he's gonna have a Squirtle and G. I wonder what his last Pokemon could be. OMG, it's a Bulbasaur. I could have never guessed that. You suck, you gay little Bulbasaur, man. Oh, I'm sorry, gay is an offensive word.